you've got your main toolbar and you've got a secondary toolbar, one of these toolbars that you can create yourself. How to do that? Window, toolbars, and new toolbar. You can also manage toolbars. So if you want manage toolbars, you can see that toolbar there, you can delete it. So we'll start from afresh. So window, toolbars, and down to new toolbar. And then you said there, give it a name. I'm just gonna go with exactly with that. And you can just drag that over. Now, sometimes you can't drag it, it will just ignore. I would suggest expanding it out, just makes it a bit easier to actually select. Once you've got that, you can see this plus, it's got nothing in it at this point, but you can edit the toolbar. Just go there, click edit toolbar. Vertical, I'm not just gonna select different tools. I'm not gonna to make a, so I'm just gonna drag that one. Gradient tool, mesh tool, just do a few. So shape builder, you can just drag, simply select here and then just drag into here. And you can see now you can build up a toolbar. You can also, of course, make it thin line like that or maybe go expand it out to the advanced sort of style. What you can also do, you can there, uh, no, let's go. And as soon as you, of course, dragged it, you'll notice that it got it disabled now. You've got it, you don't need to add it anymore. Also, you can, if you want to, display it as like this. However, personally, I prefer just to display it like that. So I, because sometimes you look at some of the tools, you think, you know what, what tool is that? Puppet. <laughs> now, sometimes you'll notice that you drag and you drag it on there. You really have to sometimes make a determined effort to get it on there. Because if you just drag and you think, you know, you've done it, it sometimes will just ignore you. You will notice it just doesn't add it. That's, it hasn't done it. But you can just drag across there. Now, while you've got this open, what you can do, you can move them around. So you can decide, you know what, I want that one up the top. So you can just drag it up to the top. Now, if you avoid all of the others, you can just drag that around. You can just move it. Now, sometimes again, it will ignore you. Sometimes it won't, sometimes it will. You can move them around. I say sometimes it's a bit. However, what you can also do is say you want this tool and this tool to be connected. Well, you can just drag and you can put it on top. Now, it's not particularly easy, but sometimes it will do it. You can drag onto it and you will see now you've got two tools together. Personally, when you're doing these toolbars, I'm not certain there's really any need to group them because I keep maybe 10 tools at most here and it's nice to have access to all of them without having to expand them out. So personally, I very rarely do that, but you can always still continue if you want to, just move them around. Sometimes it will again, just ignore and you find that you can't select it or you can, yeah. It is sometimes one of those ones that's slightly frustrating tool to use in terms of it will do it. However, likewise, you can also just delete. You can just drag. And again, this is sometimes slightly frustrating. You can drag. I've had a few during run through. I've done this a few times, of course, going through this. Like the type tool, like type tool. I try and drag it back in. It will ignore. It will just not. It will just stay in that toolbar. So sometimes it will just ignore you. Don't ask me why. But however, you can also add other things as well. So you've got down here, you've got also Mirror. That's a brilliant tool from Astute Graphics. Really worth checking out. That's a free plugin, really great tool. However, you can also show these things. You've got here, show fill stroke controls, and you can just click there. If you don't want them, just deselect it. Click, click like that. You can also show coloring options there. You can see the coloring options there or not. Also draw mode, you can show that. I think that's quite nice and it would be nice actually if a few more other things were available displayed there. I think that would be quite useful. However, so you can do it, you can just show or not. And then you can of course use it. It's exactly the same as there. Again, edit tool, you can manipulate these in all kinds of ways. However, what if you wanna manage the thing? So you can just go over here, you've got create a new toolbar. You don't have to have just one, so you can have two. And again, got that one, let's just expand that out so you can actually drag. Sometimes, like I say, if it's very small, this top, you can't select it, it just seems to ignore. And again, you can just drag over there. Now you can also have the same tools. You notice you've got access to all the tools again. So if you decide, you know what, I wanna use that tool again, one of the tools again that you've got over here, you can. Doesn't, there's not a sort of, it only can be in one actual tool. It can be in both, it can be, it's obviously all in all of them. And again, once you finish with that, you can also right click there and you've got manage toolbars. Also, you've got the option up here, window and let's do it, window and toolbars and manage toolbars. So you can 
Now it doesn't really particularly manage toolbars. All it does is simply just gives you the option to add another one. So you can add another one and also there, delete the toolbar. So you can delete it. Now, unfortunately you can't right click or do any duplicate toolbar. Now that will be useful. However, there is no option for duplicate, but you can just delete and add a new one and click OK. And there you have all the tools. And again, now once you've got that, you can't, you can't move them around then. You need to click here in edit toolbar and then you can drag and add another one there, drag and add another one and so on. Now sometimes because of the way it's done, it's crunched over there, it makes it quite hard to do because it's overwriting that display, so, which makes it slightly awkward. However, that's run through the toolbar. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.